Hello everyone. Life is good. It's Mike Levin, Friday, March 20th, at almost six o'clock, so the day's almost over. But I'm gonna try and do a couple little things here. My Pipulate demo is done, or we should call it like the PowerPoint-like deck, and I'm gonna put a link to it right here. So I figured I'd go over to Vim, where I'm editing some other files, and uh, trying to get rid of a little nun thing, which uh, uh, you'll see later in the demo. I'm gonna edit that out for now. But I thought I'd go uh, add a buffer and uh, templates and pipulate just to show uh, m editing multiple files in Vim. It's uh, quite easy once you get the hang of it. It's a muscle memory quite thing. Once you add uh, a file into a new buffer, you can do BN for buffer next, and that brings us to the file. There's a number of other ways to switch between them. And I just want to find where over here I have log in with Google and log out because I know the URL I'm going to want to put in there. So log in with Google. And you can see, you know, some people complain about Vim because of scrolling and switching between files. And after a while, switching between files is like boom, 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 much faster than taking your hand away from the keyboard for a mouse uh, to sort of hunt and peck through all your different files in some sort of file manager. So here I will uh, basically do a YY for yank and then shift P for pasting above where my cursor is. And the href here instead of the login link is going to be the URL that I keep in here. So I just go edit. I copy that shortened URL so I can actually count the visits to the Pipulate demo, uh, which I can show you right here. Since I sort of pseudo announced it in a soft launch last week, I've got a, a 101 clicks on it. Probably like five or six of those are me, but still, uh, there's people looking at it. So what I'm going to do right now is go back to that file, hit I for insert, do the Apple uh, pasting thing, and that's going to need that HTTP, colon slash slash in front of it. And uh, we just put in, let's see, I'll do shift D. Actually, I have to get out of insert mode. Shift D for delete the rest of the line. A for insert mode and watch demo. Close it back out. Right. And now I just do a refresh here. And there's the watch the demo link. You can see this updated in the background. This is kind of a special mode I have for uh, watching the use of Pipulate. It's kind of a debugging mode. If I were to control C out of it and do a refresh, you would see service unavailable. And whenever you set up your own Pipulate server, now all you do is you type dev Pipulate and it'll even do command line completion with the tab because it's in your SBIN directory. And you start it and now there's your server going again. A simple refresh here will show you what it's doing exactly. And if you're doing anything complicated, it'll have this fancy indenting so you can tell exactly where you are uh, in the whole affair. So we're just testing that. Watch the demo. There you have it. Uh, this I'm going to actually cut and do as a, a separate demo. I just wanted to show you uh, a little bit of uh, Vim work. Uh, so back here, I can actually go colon bn and you know switch between my different files that are loaded. It's a really nice way to work on multiple files. Uh, really big strength of Vim editing multiple files at once. With some plugins, you can do even fancier stuff like grabbing it uh, through all your files at once with color coding as you grab. It gets really, really nice. I'm not that advanced yet, but as I do get advanced, I will keep you uh, in touch uh, with what I'm doing. So uh, if I wanted to quit out of this one now, it would be calling B delete for buffer delete. And now there's just the one buffer loaded. And I will write 
and then uh, uh, that was quit. I'm going to git commit. And what did I just do? I just uh, added demo link. Git push. And that's a pretty good thing. That's going to make the demo that much higher exposure, which I'm going to show you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.